Hello, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. It's time to enjoy Carnival. Yay, the Carnival. I really like this. They completely like redo the NPCs for the entire town just for this. Yeah, I really like this Carnival thing. Like, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. They did a lot of... I don't know, just they, there's a lot of effort clearly put into it, like yeah. a lot of detail for no real reason. It's a nice break from the rest of the game, even though you're still sort of like going around assassinating. It's still it's, it's the different. same stuff, but with enough of a coat of paint that just yeah. doesn't feel like it. Yeah. Yeah, like you have to play these games in order to win the mask. So like, it's the same basic thing, but different. Because mm -hmm. it just it feels really different, even though like this mission is just you go and pickpocket people. But they make it so it's different. You have to go and impress ladies and get ribbons and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, impress the ladies with the ribbons. Yeah, that's a funny one. No, you steal the ribbons from the girls. Because <laughs> you're such a ladies' man. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so there's different types of bundles of ribbons. They add different numbers to your thing. You need to get 25 of them in the time limit. Or you can just take money, but that works too. Um, the bigger the cluster of women, the more ribbons you get. But I think you have to go to all those clusters on the map. No. So, no. Um, it, the, the best strategy would be to just try and find the biggest groups. Because, like, these groups of three, you'll get two for every, like, small group with that. But you can get large bundles of ribbons, which are, like, six, I think, or more than that, maybe. Mm. These medium ones, which are probably four, if my numbering is accurate. I thought you just had to go to every single group. No, that, there would be different sizes if that was the case. And you can exceed 25, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Yeah, the most common is the three group, but here's a slightly bigger one, I think. Oh. Yeah, large bundle of ribbons. How much did that add? I don't Missed know. It. Gotta pay attention to these things. Jeez. There's a big group. Yeah, six. six. So yeah. yeah. And I imagine the medium is four. So yeah, we're already almost there. Plenty of time still. Should stop, enjoy this carnival. Well, yeah, but you're gonna win. Race to win. Mm hmm. One more. Yeah, see, didn't you get everything? No, oh, I need one more, so clearly not. Yeah, but I mean, like, you went to every group, and this will be the last group, and it's gonna have one, probably. Nope. Oh. So, yeah, I have 28 now. Okay, never mind then. Yay! Wait, what is that? Is that like a firework or something? Yeah. I think, didn't they say something like... Hey, I don't know, they talked about it, I think. But what, meeting up with Asia? Yes. That's a weird firework. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Looks really dangerous, though. Uh, that's exactly what I was just going to say. Oh, we're so Canadian. Why? Because we think fireworks are dangerous? Yeah, no one else thinks about danger. Oh, yeah. This Canadian's always thinking about danger. And yeah, now it's time for the carnival race. Yep, very, you know, typical carnival thing. I imagine there are races, but this is just like every other race. I don't think there's races at carnivals. Oh, well, I guess there's like like the haystack, not haystack races. What do you it, call them? It'd probably be like a weird gimmick race, but there'd still be a race, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they always back have... In the, back in the day, they had no creativity. They just had regular races. Mm -hmm. No, I climbed up the wall. I didn't want to do that. That's like the number one problem with Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Oh, wow, we still get Venice rooftops for this, though. I thought they'd have like, just carnival music. But mm -hmm. no, we still get the epic na 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 music. I actually remember this being this race being one of the hardest parts of this game. <laughs> hardest part? Yeah, like, I, it actually took me a lot of tries to beat this race. The trick is, yeah, the, the mini-map you have to really pay attention to because they don't always go the places you expect. Mm-hmm. And I'd always just end up jumping off a building by accident or running up the wrong wall and that wastes like 10 seconds, you know? Just like what you're saying, when you hold down that button and you just run into a wall and you go up it. Dive. I kind of like how you have to manually dive in this game. Do you? Yeah, you have to press X while you're in the air. Oh. It doesn't change anything, it's just cool. I think it guarantees you always land on the water as opposed to accidentally landing on the ground or something. Oh, yeah. Yay, win. Yeah, that looks really hard. Probably took you ten tries, you just edited them out. You'll never know. Mm-hmm. And your prize is this beautiful prostitute. 
<laughs> so what, like five florins? <laughs> so every time you win, you see some people talking. I wonder what that could mean. Mm, I don't know. They look kind of shifty. Probably just you get three thousand dollars. That's a nice, also bonus prize. Yeah, three thousand florins at that time is like that's actually quite a bit of money. Well, yeah, that I had ten thousand going in, so yeah. Considering mm. that's all of Ezio's money, basically. <laughs> and he's rich, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the amount of prostitutes you can get for that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's yeah, boxes. even on Carnival, the guards just don't give up. And the box people still carry their boxes. He's just giving me some weird lecture in some foreign language. <laughs> it would be fun if we memorized these lines and that type of accent, and then we put these costumes on and we just walked around town spreading these lines out. We'd get arrested so quick. Arrested? You think so? People, no, people are so weird about that. Haven't you ever seen any like Mega 64 videos that used to put that? Um, and... Uh, like I, I saw a comment where someone was like, apparently for one of them, they went around, did some game that had like a gun in it or something, like pretending to murder people and no one cared. But then they did <laughs> Journey and dressed up like a costume like that and oh, started yeah, like, bouncing around and they got arrested. <laughs> people are weird. Like, they probably be like, oh my God, they're speaking some weird other language. They're probably <laughs> terrorists. <laughs> How come, like, I wonder if there's ever been like a LARPing, like one of those big LARP places, LARPing, LARP, what do you call them, LARPing or LARP places? Like what would be the actual term for it? <laughs> LARP places. <laughs> well, what would be the, anyways, one of those places, I wonder if there's ever been like a big FBI raid of one of them or something because somebody, some like old folks saw them all running around with swords and fake weapons and stuff and, and thought. listening to rap music. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that there's been some sort of massive raid like that. They've covered it up, it's too embarrassing. Maybe. Like, if I didn't know what LARPing was, and I, like, walked in the woods and saw what I would assume is, like, some crazy religious cult with a bunch of people running <laughs> Why around. would you assume it's a religious okay, cult? Okay, there's a bunch of people in costumes. There's a person dressed costumes. up in a green tunic okay, with a bow and arrow. I'm talking about, like, the big ones that have, a, like, at least 50 people or something. And there's all these people... And they're running around with all these, like... Fake weapons, but they actually look pretty realistic. Some of them, and they're all well, in costume. They are real. Okay, yeah, there you go. And they're like doing all this like acting, but it's actually real to you because you don't know. And then, I don't know. I would probably be like, oh my god. So. I guess, but if you actually like paid any attention, then they'd be like talking about dwarves or aliens or something. Yeah, so you might think doing. there's some messed up religious cult that believes in dwarves and aliens. Yeah, dwarves aren't a real thing. <laughs> well, like dwarf, like okay, mythical we dwarves. We haven't talked about this at all, but yeah, we're playing okay. Capture the Flag. You have to capture the flag, and then if you capture enough flags, you win. Okay, this is actually the mission, not the running one. The running one caused me a lot of problems, but this one caused me it way can, more. This can either be really easy or really hard. There's a pretty easy pattern you can do to always win, but sometimes they just grab it so fast, or they grab it from you, and you just can't get it back, and it just gets annoying. So I'm moving for the kill. Yeah, and if you die or lose, then you have to do the whole thing again. And I'm like, oh my god, I got two already. Oh my god, two whole minutes. Uh... No, it took me forever. But I still like this carnival part, even though it has some annoying missions. Well, they're not annoying, it just took me a long time. Yeah, you've said every one of them is like the worst part of the game <laughs> so far. You're okay, like, oh, well, the carnival's so awesome, well, the, guys. The overall carnival ambiance and feeling and blah, 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 it was really awesome. And the, the kind of break from the usual was nice. Yeah, we never did any of this stuff normally while playing Assassin's Creed. Nope. You never had races. Mm -hmm. You never had to pickpocket people. Nope. Well, you never had to do capture the flag, so there's that. Yeah, that's new. Look, you already got it. Yeah, idiot. They're really good at avoiding you, too, once they get it. And they sprint just as fast as you, so you get to, like, catch up with them. Yeah, and you jump off this and it takes you an hour to get back out of the water and up to the yeah. top of the roof. Like, it's just a pain. Yeah, I don't think I make this one. I can't really tell. I would doubt it. They're just so fast. It's like those... The people you were supposed to, like, t uh, 
the like Templar officials or whatever they are where you're supposed to tackle them and get their money mm-hmm. I never bought it because it's so hard to keep up with them because they like just do all the perfect parkour and stuff like yeah. that yeah you have to wait till they take a corner too wide and then cut it off or something yeah and you never get anything worthwhile for it I just never bother Are you competing against a knight in full armor? <laughs> I mean, uh, like, I'd say it's a disadvantage, but Ezio is wearing, like, 15,000 pounds of clothes, <laughs> so... Wait, they still get on my case for that? I'm playing capture the flag, guys. It's part of the carnival. Yeah. Of course, are, of course he has the flag. These guys are getting on my case. <laughs> when I have the flag, well, yeah, if you let me get it, then it'll probably be solved. What is... Okay, the game's just freaking out at this point. <laughs> you have it now? Okay, you do. Yeah. Pretty close to it. Too close for comfort. Yeah. I'm liking this. Can you just kill him? <laughs> yeah, that's how you win capture the flag. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, where this happens. Wait, did you just take it? He took it. No. Why not glowing? Oh, he does have it. Oh my god. Wait. Yeah, he has. Opponent has the flag because ah. he touched you, and that's how it works. He's really good at pickpocketing. To be fair, Ezio is too, but I wouldn't be able to do it. I have to be on the ground to take it from him. Yeah. You know what I really want to experience? Being pickpocketed. Like, Why? <laughs> like I want I want someone who's act like people always say. Oh, you know, I went to this foreign country, and I was sitting on a bench, and the next thing I know, I don't have my wallet anymore. I don't like. I can't understand how you could not feel someone stick their hands down your pants and take your down wallet. Down your pants. I don't think you understand how pickpocketing works. Where do you keep your wallet? <laughs> In my pant pocket. So they have to stick their hand down my pant pocket and pull up my wallet. I don't know how you could possibly not feel well, that. Well, how deep are your pockets? Like, usually the, the bit of the wallet sticks out, so they just sort of slowly yeah, reach in, slide it out. I don't know. I think I would feel it. Like, I could understand if you have a purse, no, you stick the just, purse behind you. If you're distracted you. or something like that, then I But still, see. like, my... There's no way you could touch me without me realizing. Have you ever had, like, some money in your pocket and dropped it without realizing, even though it's kind of heavy? No. Mm. Well, anyways, I don't think I... Like, I always, whenever I go out with my wallet, I always have my hand near it, because I don't mm. usually go out with my wallet, so I'm not used to it, and I'm always paranoid. Oh, yeah. But I, am, I don't know. I imagine most people could easily get distracted, especially if they like, a light wallet and not shallow pockets. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I yeah. just and like I don't know, if you're having a conversation with someone, you probably wouldn't notice. Well, that's why I want to experience it because maybe it really or, is. Actually, you could do what Ezio does here, where he bumps into you and takes it while you're distracted by that. There, okay. There's that. Yeah, that's a good point. If somebody does that sort of thing, especially in like a really crowded place, you probably wouldn't notice. Cause yeah. You think it's, oh, everyone's always bugging, bumping into me. Yeah. I bet. I bet it'd be really easy to get pickpocketed at Disneyland. <laughs> probably. Yeah, like Goofy stole my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> they don't pay him enough no nope. yes they pickpocket everybody all those little kids they can't need money so we've got the final challenge I believe gotta beat people up which is another thing we'd never really do in Assassin's Creed no I don't think so I imagine these people are all cheating husbands <laughs> <laughs> probably yeah it's not very hard This does seem kind of unfitting for the carnival. Like, you have, oh, get some ribbons, oh, run over here, capture a flag, destroy, like, knock out endless people. It doesn't In really full fit. armor. Yeah. Because they couldn't be bothered to reskin them. Nope. <laughs> like, that guy's hat. Kind of reminds me of uh, Donald's hat. Donald? What? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't he have a sailor hat? Yeah, that's not a sailor hat at all, though. It looked like one. So Wait, now, is Donald a sailor? I don't know, probably. He wears Everyone sailors was clothes. sailors back in the day. Steamboat Willie? <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, now we're fighting Dante. He's not really any harder. Can't really do anything. Yeah, looks like Ezio's gonna win. That was easy. Uh-oh. Shifty talking in the air. Mm -hmm. Is that a Spaniard? I don't know. Looks kind of like a bit fat. Combatants. With swords. Huh. That seems fair. Yeah, you know. So. That's how it's going to be. Uh, you know, it's kind of... They're being dishonorable. It doesn't have to 
go down to their level. I'm going to fight them with my fists. <laughs> oh, you can pull out your sword at this point? I'm pretty sure you can, but I'm just beating them up. It's because you're that good. Yeah. Just because they're going to use swords, I mean, I have to stoop to their level. Mm-hmm. Honor. Yep. I don't really get that whole knight Oops. honor. Honor, Darn it. I mean. I messed up. One of them sta got stabbed to death. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean uh, to stab you. Best three out of four. How come you keep having to pull your fist out? Because like when I disarm them, I take their weapon. Oh, That's I how see. I accidentally killed that guy. Oh, oops. I'm just too good. You're too good. Yep. Because yeah, if you, once you disarm someone, if you use your attack right after that, you automatically kill them. Mm. So you have to disarm yourself. Signore, signore. So even after all that, you still won. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. No problem. So yeah, we get the golden mask. It's pretty good. Makes you completely incognito. <laughs> Bloody lip. It's just like the start of Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> he's got a little blood on his chest, too. And he's gonna go to the doctor get some leeches for it. Yeah. yeah the winner is Epsio. Oh, no, Dante. Oh, didn't right. see that coming. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Are people like booing because they know Ezio won, or is it just like, yay, Dante? I think they're booing. I can't tell. They're weird alien language. Yeah, Italian. See? Italian. They're, they're nice enough for you to. They still pay you for winning this. $2, yeah. $2,000. They're, they're kind of bribing you, paying you off. No. Oh, just because we got paid off for this. Let's play. See you next time. Adios.